Hey guys, Appleworm here, and today I'm going to be reviewing Better Snap Tool, which is, I must say, probably my most used Mac app, probably because it's always running in the background, but it is definitely a must-have app, and it is one I would recommend that everybody installs on their Mac. It is on the App Store, on the Mac App Store. At the moment, it's 455 Australian, I believe, which translates to about 380 American US. I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. But um, yeah, just let me show you what Better Snap Tool does. So basically, the window management in OS X is not the greatest. If you want to do like two windows side by side, you haven't got any arrow snap functionality. Basically, you're stuck to holding down this, waiting for it, putting that there, putting that there, and then you're stuck in full screen. You can't really open up. It's it's a lot it's a lot more of a hassle than what you'll find on a Windows computer when using arrow snap. So basically, what Better Snap Tool does is it does three things really. First of all, it'll add back arrow snap functionality, so if I drag this to the top of the screen, it'll maximize, drag it to the right, it'll dock it there. What you can also do is drag it to the very corner, so if I do that, it'll set it up and just take up a quarter of the screen. So this is great if you're working with multiple windows and you only have one display. So very good for man um, managing windows. What it can also do is you can use a bunch of presets. If I go over to here and change windows and position, you've got like maximize, left half, left right, all that stuff. So you can say maximize on next monitor, that is if you have a double monitor setup or you've connected to an external display. You can have like the middle third and just really pretty much anything. And you can go into the settings and assign these all to a keyboard shortcut. Like for example, I've got Alt F set to maximize. So that way I can easily do that because don't particularly like full screening things because it's just it's a hassle to get everything else, having to swipe around and all that stuff. Um, so th those are the first two things. And the third and final thing it does is actually probably one of the most enjoyable features out of it, and that's the reason I started using it over other tools. So you may see when I move the windows around, you've got these little things around the side. They are red at the moment. Red matched my previous wallpaper. It doesn't match this one at all, so I'll have to change that. But... I have a certain way I like my windows to be. For example, I like my finder to be in a smallish square directly in the center of the screen. So what I've done is I've set up this so I can just drag it over finder and it'll go to where I usually want it. You say, this is how I usually have my iTunes. My messages usually go off to the side like this. And so it'll basically let you create your own preset stuff like that, which is really cool if you like to keep your windows managed and neat in a certain position it's a bit of a neat freak thing, but honestly, I really like it, and it's one of my favourite features of this program. In fact, it is my favourite feature. Um, what you can basically do, say I always want my finder window to be there, and I want it to be that big. I don't know why I'd want that, but um, you can go into the Better Snap Tool thing, and you go Snap Areas, and then Create New Snap Area, and that'll use the active window as the template. So you just click on the window you want to do, click in the middle, and then it will have a little square for you, so I can just say, this is where I want my, say, files. You can send it out, you can change the, like, the border width, you can change the color, this is a, and the opacity, and all that cool stuff. Resize it, move it around your screen. Let's just put it up there for now. And then you just press Command-W when you finish. And so that way, so I've got my, um, my files all marked up, I can go, oh, well, I want to have them back in my spot where I like them. I can just drag it up to my files thing, and it'll move it straight over there exactly where I want it. And, of course, they're easy to remove. You just go into that and go edit snap areas, click on it, and hit the X. So it is a better snap tool is a really great application, and it's probably been the most useful application that I've used on my Mac in terms of general Windows management. So, in my opinion, it's definitely worth your five bucks or three bucks if you're in the U.S., Anyway guys, thanks for watching, make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed this review, and leave a comment if there's something else you wanted me to review, or a tutorial you'd like to request, but yeah, um, all the likes and comments mean a lot, and so yeah, see you next time, cheers.